Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look into the 2017 Audi A6. In this review I'm going to cover five main topics including styling, performance fuel economy, passenger space, trunk space, and a general features overview. Of course I'll take it on a thorough drive and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, and let her run. So along with the remote access smart key system, the A6 comes standard with push button ignition. To start, make sure you have the key fob within the interior, then put your foot on the brake and hit the console mounted button to go. The Audi A6 has been a long-time staple in the mid-size luxury sedan segment for its stately looks and sublime road manners. The current generation has been around since 2012 and hasn't needed much in the years following aside from your typical year-to-year -year updates. The most significant changes came in 2016 as the A6 lineup was treated to a mid-cycle refresh that included revised styling, more potent power drains, and a suite of new technology. From the outside, it takes a close eye to pick out what makes this car different from its predecessor, but like all Audis, the differences lie in the details. In short, the front and rear faces are new, complemented by new side skirts. The single frame grille continues to be a main focal point, but its edges are now sharper. The headlamps and tail lamps have also been redesigned. LED headlamps are optional. At the rear, along with a strip of chrome being added to the bottom of the trunk lid, there's a pair of new trapezoidal chrome tailpipes. Collectively, these changes give the car a more dynamic look that better assimilates with Audi's current lineup and the recently refreshed A7. There's a lot of great options in this segment that will undoubtedly make choosing the right car a difficult task. The A6 stands out from the pack through its subtlety. Its bodywork, which consists primarily of aluminum, isn't as flashy or bold as some of its competitors. The smooth silhouette, intricate line work, and the right amount of flash is very easy on the eyes, almost timeless in nature. For 2017, the A6 continues relatively unchanged aside from the inclusion of the previously optional S-Line exterior package, now standard on every A6, as well as standard front and rear parking sensors with a rear view camera and standard 18-inch wheels. If chrome and bright work isn't your thing though, you can still opt for the black optic package, which adds unique wheels, gloss black trim around the side windows, and a gloss black single frame grille. Currently, the A6 is offered in four trim levels, including the Premium, Premium Plus, Prestige, and the Sporty Competition. Base pricing ranges between $47,600 and $67,600. Of course, you also have the range topping S6, but that's an entirely different beast. Our tester is a premium plus with the turbo four-cylinder and optional all-wheel drive system. With front-wheel drive, the premium plus starts at $51,600. Adding the potent supercharged V6, which automatically comes bundled with all-wheel drive, increases the base price to $58,600. With a handful of other options included, this example would retail for around $55,000. Dependent on the trim level, Audi offers a wide variety of wheel styles and sizes that range between 18 and 20 inches in diameter. 18 by 8 inch wheels come standard, however our tester is equipped with a set of 19 by 8 and a half inch 10 spoke wheels that are part of an optional sport package. They're wrapped in 255-40 all season Pirelli tires that can muster nearly 0.9 g of lateral acceleration. With the 20-inch wheel options, high-performance summer tires are added, which would increase grip and handling by a measurable amount. As far as brakes, ventilated discs can be found at each corner. With the turbo four-cylinder, there's 13.6-inch discs up front and 13-inch discs in the rear, which provide good stopping power and excellent pedal feel. Larger front brakes are added when you specify the supercharged V6. The A6 uses an electromechanical steering system with speed proportional power assistance. The ratio is 16 to 1 and it takes 2.8 turns to lock. The turning circle is measured at 39 feet. 
As with a lot of Audis I've tested out in the last couple years, the steering is direct and nicely weighted. Even with the base engine, this car is simply a joy to drive. It's well balanced and feels pretty nimble for its size. With plenty of aluminum and high strength steel on board, curb weight for our tester would come in around 3,957 pounds depending on the options you specify. 55% of that weight sits over the front wheels. Underpinning the A6 is a fully independent multi-link suspension in the front and rear, plus coil springs and front and rear anti-roll bars. The all-wheel drive system keeps things on track by ensuring there's plenty of traction where needed, especially in low grip scenarios. With the optional sport suspension calibration, the A6 is firmed up even more to make it handle sharper through corners. The only downside is that the ride might become too stiff for some, but it just depends on what you're looking to get out of your drive. Regardless, the A6 will reward any driving enthusiast who's looking for a confident and well-mannered luxury sedan. In 2016, the entry model A6 received an updated 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder that generated more power and slightly improved fuel economy. Constructed using a relatively lightweight 72-pound iron block and an aluminum cross-flow cylinder head, the engine features dual overhead cams, 4 valves per cylinder, variable intake and exhaust valve timing, and a two-stage variable valve lift system on the exhaust side. Fuel is delivered through a combination of port and high-pressure direct injection. In this case, direct injection is used during idle and when the engine is under a full load, while port injection is used under partial loads, never a mix between the two. Audi claims this setup reduces emissions and produces a cleaner burn when compared to engines that rely solely on direct injection. The compression ratio is rated at 9.6 to 1, while maximum engine speed is approximately 6,800 RPM. Following a number of updates for 2016, it's now putting out 252 horsepower between 5,000 and 6,000 RPM and 273 pound-feet of torque between 1,600 and 4,500 RPM. That's an increase of 32 horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque over prior models. The A6 is offered with two transmission options. Front-wheel drive cars feature a 7-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch automatic. If equipped with the optional Quattro all-wheel drive system, an 8-speed Tiptronic torque converter automatic is used instead. Along with having a sport program that races the shift points, you're able to change gears manually by the console shift lever or by a pair of steering wheel paddle shifters. With all-wheel drive, the 2-liter is able to propel the A6 to 60 miles an hour in about 6 seconds and reach a governed top speed of 130 miles per hour. If you're looking for serious performance, you'll also want to consider the supercharged 3-liter V6, optional on the Premium Plus, and standard on the Prestige and Competition, not to mention the twin-turbocharged 4-liter V8 and the S6. Audi Drive Select is included if you wanted to tailor performance to suit your driving style. There's four modes including Comfort, Auto, Dynamic, and Individual. Individual is more or less your custom setting so you can adjust steering firmness, throttle response, and transmission shift logic. The other three have their own pre-programmed parameters. The four-cylinder boasts respectable performance when stacked next to the current generation BMW 528i and the all-new Mercedes E300. It's smooth and quiet out on the road, making it more ideal as a long-distance traveling car than a proper sports sedan. All A6 models carry a 19.8 gallon fuel tank and require the use of premium unleaded. An auto start stop system is also standard on all models except for the S6 where it remains an optional feature. Fuel economy estimates for the 2 liter Quattro range between 22 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. Expect an average of around 25 miles per gallon. Audi's interiors are some of the best in the business, and the A6 is a perfect example as it combines a handsome design with excellent build quality and all of the luxurious amenities that you can ask for. Now our Premium Plus tester doesn't have the full array of features available for the A6, but it's still very well equipped. And even though this car debuted back in 2012, I think the cabin still feels very fresh, especially with some subtle updates over the years, namely with some of the controls and the infotainment system. The front occupants are treated to full power adjusting seats while the driver gains four-way adjustable lumbar. The steering wheel is power tilting and telescoping. Heated front seats are standard across the board while a heated steering wheel and heated rear seats are optional. The A6 Prestige takes it a bit further by adding ventilated multi-contour front seats with active massage for greater comfort. 
While some of the controls may seem a bit daunting at first, it's all pretty intuitive once you start playing around with it. I'll talk about how the MMI system works in just a second. Everything is within easy reach and there's even a button on the dash to hide the screen if you want a cleaner look. Audi offers a number of different ways that you can personalize the interior of the A6 from different interior color themes to of course features and finishers. This example is equipped with the optional layered walnut wood inlays which come at a $500 premium. Especially with this car which has the Atlas beige interior, the open pore look and feel just gives it more of a warm and inviting nature to the interior. As far as storage space, there's plenty of it. The armrest is fully adjustable and contains a two-tier storage compartment. In the bottom, you have chain storage, a 12-volt power outlet, and all of your USB and auxiliary media inputs. On the passenger side, you have a locking glove box with a three-tier design with two upper pockets and a large lower pocket that can swallow just about anything that you need. The interior is protected by dual-stage front airbags, knee airbags for the driver and passenger, front thorax side airbags, and head curtain airbags for the front and rear. If you opt for the driver assistance package, a suite of electronic safety features are added such as adaptive cruise control and active lane assist. A heads-up display is optional as is a night vision camera with pedestrian detection. A6 is equipped at the turbo 4 cylinder available with two audio systems, the standard setup being a 10 speaker system with 180 watts of power. Our tester comes with the optional Bose surround sound system with 14 speakers and 630 watts of power. Only when equipped with the supercharged V6 though do you gain the option of the range topping Bang & Olufsen surround system with 15 speakers and 1300 watts of power. The Premium Plus also features an upgraded version of Audi's MMI system with navigation. There's Bluetooth hands-free telephone and even a touchpad controller in the center console. The touchpad allows for a variety of different commands including written commands with certain menus like navigation. There's a lot of features built into this system, but in general it's all pretty easy to use once you get used to the controls. The owner's manual is also built into the system so you don't have to fiddle with the book. In the center console there's a rotary dial and a bunch of shortcut keys, but around that rotary dial are four buttons that correspond to the sub-menus located in each corner of the screen. You'll notice a lot of those menus also have a circular pattern to it so everything is easy to see and scroll through. Along with satellite radio and a CD player, smartphone integration technology such as Apple CarPlay is also included. The Premium Plus features a quad zone climate control system with independent temperature adjustments for the front and rear occupants. The rotary dials also serve a variety of features from temperature to fan speed and even changing the different zones. Another pretty cool thing is the 8 inch driver information system. It's controlled by a button on the left hand side of the steering wheel and packs just about everything you'd expect out of the MMI system such as radio, telephone and even navigation. Now let's go ahead and see if she sounds, both sitting still and on the road. Next, let's go ahead and shut her down. We'll head to the back seat and check out overall space and amenities. The A6 can seat up to three people in the back seat and it's pretty accommodating. 
I'm five foot 10 with an ideal seating position for myself in front. I have plenty of room left over, about four inches or so of leg space and maybe two, two and a half inches of head space. It's also a really nice environment to be in, you know, well built, everything feels solid, a lot of soft touch padding, and it's also very well appointed. I really like the B-pillar vents for extra ventilation. Of course, you have the adjustable vents in the console, and this one has a quad zone electronic automatic climate control like I mentioned earlier. As far as everything else, the seats sit really nice. There's good lower back support, plenty of cushion down below, three adjustable headrests, and in the middle, a fold down armrest. Pretty good size, wrapped in soft touch material, a lockable pass-through so you can stick like poles and skis and the like, console here, as well as two pop-out cup holders. Along with the side curtain airbags, of course, you have the child seat anchors. There's good sized quarter windows back here for extra visibility. You have LED illumination up top, grip handles, coat hooks, a lot of storage in the bottom portions of the door panels, seat back storage pockets, and even little ashtrays on the door. But that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and head towards the back now and check out trunk space. On A6 is equipped with the supercharged V6, a hands-free power operated trunk comes standard. Inside, there's 14.1 cubic feet with the back seat up, but fold it down, it's 60-40 split, and you can load cargo all the way to the front. Like I said earlier, there's also a trunk pass-through, so if you didn't want to fold the whole back seat down, you can at least stick some taller items through. There's cargo tie-downs, a temporary spare tire, and even a small cargo net off to the right side. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2017 Audi A6. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like, and subscribe today. There's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.